I ain't gonna say it right before I started, but it was times when I was stress free, when I ain't had like shit to worry about. I was like younger and shit. I felt like I was straight and I ain't really had too many problems because I ain't really experienced too much in life yet. It's 2024 and the tragic reality persists. Rappers are still being killed for some street cred. Despite the hopes for a brighter future, the hip hop community remains marred by violence. A stark contrast to the genre's potential for unity and expression. This year alone, an alarming number of rappers have been killed, leaving fans heartbroken and disillusioned, wishing for the day when hip hop could finally break free from its violent past. In this video, we'll talk about some of the untimely deaths of some rappers who were brutally murdered and left us far too soon. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. And also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Starting off with Chris King. On the 20th of April 2024, rapper Chris King was shot and killed in Nashville. The California native was outside of a recording studio with some friends when three suspects attempted to rob them. During the scuffle, gunfire erupted and both King and his friend were hit by bullets. King was pronounced dead at Vanderbilt Hospital while his friend survived and was treated for his injuries. Two days later, police officially named the suspect who fired the deadly shots. Detectives are now working to locate Adrian Cameron a 19-year-old who was out on bond for a 2021 murder charge and was wearing an ankle monitor at the time of the fatal shooting. Cameron is accused of killing King outside the music studio on Hayes Street. Before his untimely death, Chris King had been an artist for the past decade. His debut mixtape, Welcome to Fantana, was released in 2016, and he quickly gained recognition by appearing on Trippy Red's debut mixtape, A Love Letter to You. King continued to collaborate with Trippy Red on various projects and even toured with him on several occasions. Over the years, he worked with other well-known artists and formed friendships with prominent figures in the industry, including Justin Bieber. Hours after King's passing, Bieber paid tribute to him on Instagram, sharing a heartfelt message over a photo of them hugging. Love you, bro. This one hurts. Please keep his family in your prayers. See you in paradise, brother. Up next is Takeoff. In the early morning hours of November 1st, 2022, Kursnik Kari Ball, better known as Takeoff, was tragically shot and killed outside of 810 Billiards and Bowling, a bowling alley in Houston. Takeoff was at the venue at the time with his bandmate and uncle Quavo when a fight broke out leading to gunfire. By the time the police arrived, the shooter had fled. On the 2nd of December 2022, Houston police arrested Patrick Xavier Clark for Takeoff's murder. One of the most heartbreaking details for fans was that Takeoff was not involved in the argument that led to the shooting. Eyewitnesses reported that the dispute was between other individuals and Takeoff was tragically caught in the crossfire. This senseless act of violence highlighted the ongoing issue of gun violence, drawing even more attention to the problem. Following the news of Takeoff's passing, tributes poured in from across the music industry and beyond. Rapper Designer announced on Instagram Live that he was leaving the rap industry due to the incident. 50 Cent requested a one-minute silence in Takeoff's honor. Takeoff's bandmates changed their profile pictures to honor him. And Cardi B shared an old interview video of Takeoff. Basketball player LeBron James wore an outfit similar to Takeoff's as a tribute. A few days after the rapper's death, Gucci Mane released a track titled Letter to Takeoff, dedicating it to his memory. Jada Youngin On the 27th of July, 2022, Louisiana rapper Jada Youngin was tragically shot outside his home in Bogalusa. At the time, he was just 24 years old. Jada Youngin, whose real name was Javorius Scott, was rushed to Our Lady of the Angels emergency room, where he succumbed to his injuries. His label, Atlantic Records, expressed deep sorrow over the devastating news, emphasizing that Jay DeYoungin was a talented artist with a bright future ahead. They extended their heartfelt condolences to his family and loved ones, acknowledging his roles as a father, a son, and a brother. 
J.D. Youngin first gained regional success with his 2017 mixtape Rough Way, followed by The Real Jumpman 23 later that year. His debut studio album, 23 Island, was released by Atlantic Records in 2020. In 2022, he released two EPs, Scarred and All As Well. A few days before his death, J.D. Youngin mentioned in an interview that he was looking for a house in Atlanta as he desperately wanted to leave his hometown. He hinted at wanting to distance himself from the crime and violence that plagued his life in Bogalusa. After his death, many realized that he was genuinely seeking an escape from the street life. Next up is C. Gambino. Swedish rap artist C. Gambino, who recently won a Grammy with an I, his country's equivalent of a Grammy, was shot dead in Gothenburg on the 4th of June, 2024. The 26-year-old artist, whose real name was Karar Ramadan, was found with two gunshot wounds inside of a parking garage near Selma Lagerlof Square. At the crime scene, seven bullet holes were visible in the glass door of the parking garage. Police believe the shooter or shooters were lying in wait for the artist. Following the murder, a police task force raided an address in Gothenburg and took several individuals in for questioning. However, no suspects have been identified at this time. Police are investigating whether the murder is connected to the long-standing gang conflict between Northern and Southern by Kospsgarden in Gothenburg. C. Gambino was one of Sweden's biggest rap artists in recent years. On Spotify, he had around a million listeners in a month. Peter Hallen, a Swedish rap expert, marked that C. Gambino was among the greats in Swedish hip-hop, and his death is a significant loss to the rap scene in Gothenburg and across Sweden. Hallen also highlighted the tragedy of his death, noting that C. Gambino had recently transitioned from focusing on dark criminal themes to exploring more personal and emotional subjects in his music. And up next, Julio Fulio. The latest rapper whose death has sent shockwaves through the entire industry is Julio Fulio. The young rapper from Jacksonville was shot on the 23rd of June of this year. Julio spent his final hours at a holiday inn in Tampa, a last-minute change of plans after being ejected from an Airbnb for surpassing occupancy limits. The rapper was celebrating his 26th birthday, a night meant for joy and festivity that tragically turned into a nightmare. He'd been sharing his excitement and the party's location on Instagram, which turned out to be a huge mistake for him. Before this, Julio had been attacked multiple times in the last four years. In October of 2023, he survived an ambush in Jacksonville and sustained severe injuries to his foot. This attack was just one of many brushes with death that marked his tumultuous life. In November of 2021, he had to defend himself during another attack in Jacksonville using a registered weapon. His quick response during this life-threatening encounter underscored the constant dangers he faced. Additionally, in 2020, he was involved in a shooting in Houston, Texas. Following Julio's tragic death, Jacksonville sheriffs had spoken out, hoping to use his passing as a sobering example for young artists involved in the city's drill rap scene. Authorities have indicated that they believe the killer is from Jacksonville and have committed to closely monitoring the situation. The hope is that Julio's death will serve as a wake-up call, highlighting the severe consequences of the violence that has plagued the drill rap community. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below which rapper you think would have become the most popular if they were still alive today. Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all of our future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.